Each of us would not want to be in a dangerous situation. But sometimes life presents us with such trials in which people come face to face with deadly danger. For example, no one was going to feed this girl. So this babysitter shark decided to chase the uninvited guest from its territory. They usually only attack people when they feel a direct threat to their lives. This was the most serious physical trauma in this video. All of the following situations left psychological trauma in the minds of our next characters. The father and his daughters were having fun. The girls were fooling around and jumping into the water from the boat. And then their dad decided to make a joke. He started shouting that he saw a shark in the water. Everyone liked the joke and the company laughed heartily at it. When the girls got ready for the next jump, their father stood at the ready with his camera turned on. And ready? Go! Go! No, where's a shark? That's not a shark. The shark that was called swam up. That's a nice fish. But what did the cameraman father do in this situation? He proceeded to crack jokes, claiming that it wasn't a shark but a simple nice fish. In Bermuda near St. George's, after finishing an underwater Tewa hunt, Gene Hike began to rise from a depth of 30 meters. To avoid decompression sickness that occur when the pressure changes rapidly and the subsequent destruction of cell walls and blood vessels, divers need to stay at a certain depth for a few minutes, which is what Gene did. When he got to the right depth and set the timer for 3 minutes, at a distance of 12 meters the diver saw the silhouette of a great white shark approaching. Gene knew that the great white's middle name was Cannibal Shark, and considerable experience encountering such predators made it clear that the best defense was to go on the attack and let them know that the diver was not prey. Turning and running could trigger the predator's instinct. So Gene stayed where he was, keeping his finger on the trigger, and was ready for the three-feet shark to attack. When that one disappeared into the murky water, ignoring another three-minute stop, Gene hurried to get out of the dangerous element. Only then could he breathe a sigh of relief. If the danger in this story seemed too exaggerated to you, what do you say to that? The guys at the Mad Hueys, who produced their clothing line in Australia, decided to launch a new viral video promoting clothing for surfers and divers. They prepared a cameraman, props in the form of a birdcage, which is supposed to protect a man from a shark and the shark itself, which was already on the hook. When the filming was over and the actor took off the cage, the shark decided not to tolerate the mockery and gave our hero a good lesson. Are you kidding me, mate? Of course, later the guys made a splash on this situation, but the shark left a memory of himself for years to come. We went off the tweed there, shark diving, and then... You think if you go to the aquarium to see the sharks, you'll be safe. And the engineers have thought of everything down to the last detail. They have. But no one is immune to relatives of jokers. May all your encounters with sharks be no scarier than this one.
Don't forget to like this video. See you soon. Bye.